Ukraine has three strategic components on the territory of the Russian Federation, which the defense forces regularly strike, Ukrainian aviation expert Konstantin Krivolap said. This is the oil and gas complex, air defense systems and airfields, and we are constantly hitting them. Since July the 20th, we have switched to serial attacks on Russian airfields. It started with Milerovo, then Morozovsk, once and twice, Kursk, Belgorod. At the same time, strikes were carried out on three strategic aviation airfields, Olenia, Engels II, Diaghilevo. The main thing here is not the destruction procedure itself, but the exhaustion of the entire system. From the point of view of logistics, pilots, technical personnel, explains Krivolap. He also noted that it is also important for the defense forces to destroy Russian ammunition depots and service locations at airfields. If you look at where these Russian Su-34 aircraft can go, and these are the very bombers that are bombing our combat line, our cities. The main task is to drive them away from our borders, and then they have nowhere to go, added Krivolap. He also spoke about the number of Su-34s in service in Russia. The total number, about 150 to 160 aircraft units, were produced over the entire period. More than 30, the defeat of these aircraft has been confirmed. In my opinion, the Russians currently have about 80 of these aircraft left. Others are damaged, undergoing repairs, etc. This is a very serious defeat, the expert noted. Su-34 fighter bombers are actively used by the Russian invaders in the war against Ukraine. They are carriers of a large range of missile and bomb weapons used by the Russians. They are dropping UMPK guided bombs and launching cruise missiles at civilian targets in Ukraine. Because of this activity, Su-34s suffer the most losses among other Russian aircraft. High water and helicopter rescues have been launched in New York and Pennsylvania as heavy rains from the remnants of Tropical Storm Debbie slammed the northeastern part of U.S. with intense floods. Villages and hamlets in a largely rural area south of the Finger Lakes, not far from the Pennsylvania border were most affected by flash flooding. The evacuation is underway in the towns of Jasper, Woodhull and part of Addison in Steuben County, which borders Pennsylvania. In the hamlet of Woodhull, a bridge was overtopped due to rain-swollen creek running ferociously. Area resident Stephanie Waters said parts of sheds, branches and uprooted trees were among the debris that slammed into the span. Fire Chief Timothy Martin said everybody was safe in the town, but every business in Woodhull is damaged. In Vermont, where more than 47,000 customers were without power, Governor Phil Scott had warned that Debbie's remnants could cause serious damage. There have been at least nine deaths related to Debbie, most in vehicle accidents or from fallen trees. Oh man. That truck is going Thank you.